Hi there. So in this video, we will see how to do logging with Node.js. So we are going to discuss some of the common ways in JavaScript to log your error warning and also the track time in between the logs. Okay. So these are not limited to Node.js. You can use it with any other framework. So make sure that you have Node.js available on your operating system for this example. Type in node on your command prompt. Hit enter and you will find REPL response back. Okay, now type in dot exit and you will exit from this node command prompt. Okay, now open text editor and then save file with name sample.js. After that, type in console.time to start the timer okay and from here we will count the number of instructions executed within particular time for logging so we are going to use console.time timer for that so console.log this is no chance logging example so this will be displayed on your console so console.log will simply log this message as is on command prompt then you have console.info okay so this is useful when you want to explain your test with some message related to that error or bug so type in this is info message then you have console dot war which is you can say this is warning then you also have console dot error here you type in this is error message and then finally console dot directory or you can say console dot directory which will print out the content of console you can say you can use it for printing out tree when you read let's say xml file so console.read has many other usage as well so for here we are going to use it to log console response okay then you finally stop the timer with console.time end and here you call for the same timer Okay, now what we are going to do is we are going to open command prompt and type in node and then sample.js. And here you will find message such as this is node.js logging example, then info warning error. And then response of all that is displayed with console.dir and then console variable. This will find out things we can log such as log info warning error dear time time and trace assert and finally end of that console also timer shows you the response time logged for all these instructions which is 111.784 ms okay so you can use this for let's say node.js logging or any other logging that you wish to perform you can also store all these logs within dot log file or dot text file okay so this was short video on how to do logging on node.js